Welcome to Little Big Thumbs. My name is JP, a.k.a. Big Papa Thumbs. And my name's Milo, a.k.a. Milo. Mm. So, uh, today we are going to be playing Piece of Pie. Um, Piece of Pie is published by Blue Orange Games. The uh, designers are Trevor Benjamin, Brett J. Gilbert, and the artist is Maureen Kasuli. Pieces of Pie is a two to four player game, best with ages eight and up. It averages at about 15 minutes per play, and it's also known as the Tasty Pasty Strategy Game. <laughs> the Tasty Pasty Strategy Game? Yeah. Always right on the box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I, and I, and I, I gotta ask, I, I haven't played this very much. Uh, does it actually play in like 15 minutes? It, it does. It's, it's really quick. The setup is really quick and it plays, you know, uh, it's a piece of pie to play. It's a piece of pie to play. <laughs> In Piece of Pie, the goal of the game is to get the most points possible. There are a few different ways of doing that based on objective cards that are uh, going to be public as well as one card that's going to be a secret. So let's open the box. You, you know what, Milo? I think, I think I'm going to go get myself a piece of pie. All right. Get a piece too for me. Okay. Thank All right. You. I'll see you soon. Here we go. As you can see, the components are just uh, these very, very tasty looking cardboard pieces and then these different cards here. So these cards here are the objective cards that I was talking about. We have four different types. We have the purple card here, which is going to be the decorations. As you can see here, they score a little bit differently. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, we also have the secret objectives, which are these orange ones right here. So these, as you can see, have different flavors on them. We also have these green cards here. These ones are known as the uh, pattern recipe cards. So the pattern recipe cards look like this. They require you to have the pieces in a certain formation within your different, your different pies. Um, they're all different. There you go. Uh, lastly, we have the blue cards. These ones are known as the flavor recipes. Like you'd imagine, they have different flavors in them uh, requesting that you have these certain combinations within your pie. So to set up the game, you're going to take this token and based on the amount of players, you're going to decide which one you're going to use, which side you're going to use. We have the four pieces in a two or four player game and in a three player game, you use the reverse. So because we're doing a two player game, we're gonna use the four piece side. We're also going to flip all of these face down so that we don't know what they are and we can shuffle them around. You've returned with a, uh, a piece of pie I see. I'm so excited about this. What kind of pie? Well, I, I, I tell you, I ordered um, apple and blueberry. Okay. And and I forgot to mark which was which. And so this is mystery pie. Surprise pie. Surprise pie. Surprise. That, uh, that pun's leaving me a little crusty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Um, setup is almost complete. Now we just have to select the secret objectives, which are these orange cards right here. I'm going to shuffle them. JP will get one and I will get one. Uh, this card here, which is the decorations card, which I mentioned is always going to be in play. While the other two types of objectives are going to change. Uh, for great replayability, honestly. I've played this game several times and I've like never had the same two objectives from those two decks. So now that the game is set up, let's learn how to play. Let's start with the flavor recipe. The flavor recipe is the blue card, this one here. So this card tells us that you're going to score a point for each um, apricot that is spread out exactly like this with two different flavors with a random in between each of them. So spaced out exactly like that, you're going to get two points. Next up, we have the green card, which is known as the pattern recipe. The pattern recipe tells us that we're going to have two alternating flavors. If you have a pattern like this, it's going to be worth five points. 
The decorations are in every game that you play. The chocolate is just one point per piece of chocolate in the pie. As you can see, there's lots of different chocolate shavings available. The icing is worth three points if there's two of them touching. And the shapes are worth five points as long as you have a set. Starting with the player who most recently had a piece of pie. Oh, that's, that's me! <laughs> Uh, we're going to take turns taking a piece of pie from one of the pies out here and starting to build our own. So in a three player game, each player will only build one pie, but in a two player game, we're each going to build two pies. Oh, really? Yes. So uh, when you first take a piece of pie from the, the selection here, you have to take the one that the arrow is pointing at. So that's this one, this one, here, and here. Uh, but from then on, you can take whichever. So if I chose to take this one, you could then take this apricot or the blueberry. Doesn't really matter. Don't, don't forget this, your secret objective. So this is known as the perfect piece of pie. Here's mine. So at the end of the game, you're going to get one point for each piece of pie that matches this flavor here. So we've established that, that I'm the first player? Yes, you are. Okay. This has an apricot in the middle, and I see an apricot able to be taken. So there we go. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay, uh, well, apricot blueberry sounds like a nice combination. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Now, I've never actually known any pies to have kiwis in them, but I do like kiwis. My my girls, my my two girls, mm -hmm. their I think their only real knowledge of kiwi is in bird form. So a kiwi bird. Oh no. They would I imagine if I told them about kiwi pie they might be slightly traumatized. Yeah, definitely a traumatic experience. Um, back to, so it's back to, back to me. Mm -hmm. And so I need to, uh, so I could go for that and take blueberry and this, this blueberry has chocolate on it. Okay. So. Yeah, you're just taking like one point right now. One point for, well, so one point for every chocolate. And I've already got two frosty tips, so that's three points. Yep, three points. And if I get those three symbols, that's another five points. Yeah, you're a third of the way there right now. Okay. So remember that they all have to be on the same pie. They can't be split up between your two separate pies. Okay, okay, because we're in a two-player game, we're building two pies. Yes. I'll try to remember that. Okay, I'm going to go for this yummy kiwi piece. <clears throat> Whoa. Um, all right. Uh, so, okay. I'm gonna grab this heart-shaped apricot. Do you say apricot or apricot? I say apricot. Uh, I've noticed you say apricot though. Is that a maritime thing? I don't know. No. What I do know is that we have to call the whole thing off. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing off. Oh, okay. It's a song. Yep. I do know it now that you've sung it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Apricot, apricot. We can't play this game now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my turn. I'm going to go with this. This piece of pie right here. Mm, what's available? Oh my goodness. Boop. And I've got. You know what? I'm going to start my second pie. Ta da! See, I would have forgotten. <laughs> I would have entirely forgotten if you had not. You would have been. You know, leftover pie pieces. Le I would have been, yes. It would have been just the Frankenstein pie. <laughs> uh, okay.
Okay, so I'm looking for a frosty piece here, I think. So if I have double frosty and chocolate, like here, then that's double the flavor, double the fun. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with this. Put it over here. Wah, 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 wah. Um, okay, okay, I think it's time to diversify. <laughs> That's a good one. Is it? All yes. right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I, I will take this, <laughs> this heart here. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, ooh, dang. That would have gone very nicely in my pie. I'm sorry. It was not malicious. This is hard. You know what? For a family game, this actually requires a fair amount of strategy. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with this one right here. Yeah. I mean, you say it, you say it takes a fair amount of strategy, but at the same time, the, the actual decision itself is just take a piece of pie, add it to your pie. There is, there is like a single step. And the complexity is in the scoring and how yes. how, to, how to maximize that. But as far as like an engaging family experience that you could also bring maybe a more seasoned gamer to the table at uh, and have them feel um, at home, I guess. Yeah, no, I, definitely. I think this this scratches a, a nice a nice itch so far anyways. Yeah, if kids were playing it, they could just, you know, take a piece and build whatever pie they wanted based mm. on aesthetics alone. Yeah. But, yeah, for the older, more seasoned players, they can definitely strategize it out. C'est moi. Um, bum, -ba -ba Ooh, there's no icing pieces available. So... We'll take this chocolate. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go for this chocolate one. Are, are chocolate covered apricots a thing? Have you ever heard of that? Not, it's not something I've heard of, um, but I, I mean, I like chocolate and I like peaches and apricots aren't too far from peaches right they're yeah. they're in the same family yeah. so I'm sure it would be very tasty right your if, pie looks delicious thank you if, if you've had chocolate covered apricots or chocolate covered peaches maybe let us know in the comments mm. uh, you've got a chocolate covered kiwi there I think I have tried that in real life. Really? Yes, outside of the game. I think I've eaten chocolate covered kiwis or at least chocolate with kiwis, you know, like a, a fondue fountain and oh, there have yeah. been like kiwis yeah. and I've definitely dipped it in there. All right. All right. Not a thing I, <laughs> I've i ever thought to try. Maybe not even had the opportunity. Uh, so it is... My turn. It is your turn. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, so I, okay, so to do that, I need this here. Okay. I'm going to take this and add it just like that. And if I take a strawberry, I've gotten myself another one of these. Oh, yes. So I've got two of those now, 10 points in... A, B, A, B. Yeah, I mean, here we go. I'm definitely not far behind you. Oh, what's the best thing to take? I don't know anymore. Here's a tip. <laughs> like a frosted tip? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I'll take it, but I feel like I, feel like I was just handed some pity points. No, definitely not. I mean, icing is always great. And look, now you've completed your set. And I also made a great pun. So <laughs> it's a win-win in my books. 
Okay. Uh, ooh, yes. Easy decision. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Let's see. So I've got that. I've got that. Okay. Chocolate. Take the last piece of chocolate. chocolate. Mm. Okay, I will complete this pie, which is strawberry and kiwi. Sounds like a good pie. Mm. What's your favorite kind of pie? My mother used to make a chocolate pie, like a chocolate pudding pie. Ooh, that sounds good. That, that I've never experienced a pie like that mm. since then. Probably like nostalgia going on. But uh, I, I remember my mom's chocolate pie being the bomb. Yeah, that does sound good actually. All right, uh, you, well, you don't need a star at this point. I'll just grab a blueberry. I think we each have one more blueberry. Yeah, I'll take the the more fun piece. <laughs> and so that is that is the end of the game. Okay, let's score up. All right, before we score, can I guess which flavor of pie was your secret? Your secret special pie. Guess away. So you've got seven kiwi. Yeah, seven kiwi. So it's probably kiwi. Strawberry. Yes, it was strawberry. I was doing really well at the beginning, but then you had taken a couple pieces, at which point I was like, well, I don't know if it's a close game anymore. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, based on your pieces of pie, I'd probably guess blueberry. Ooh, we were both wrong. Oh. Apricot. I took way too much blueberry. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let's let's score up. All right. Um, <clears throat> it might, may I take the lead? Yeah. Okay. So for my pie, my bonus pie, I've got one, two, three, four, five points. And for this, I don't think I completed this at all. Um, no, um, so nothing here. So I'm still at five points. This, I, I did this here and I did that there. So I got it twice. So I'm at five, 10, 15. And I got the decorative sets twice. Nice. So that's for, an, that's another 10. So I was at 15, now. so I'm at 25. And I got one, two, Frosted tips for 31. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chocolate. So I'm at 38. So I think my final score is 38 points. Not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. So I also had five pieces of my uh, secret objective slice. Then. I also don't think that I scored this at all. Um, it doesn't seem that way. But um, I did score this three times. Three times. Yeah, I have it here and then that whole pie. So that's 15 mm -hmm. plus five, so 20. Uh, all right, and then for chocolate, 21, 22, three, four, five, six, so 26. Mm -hmm. um, and I have two sets of icing, so that brings me to 32. Mm, 32 is my final score, though. I don't have any of the uh, shapes, the shape sets. All right. Well, so 30, I think I had 38. 38. 32. You uh, beat me. All right. I'm the, the 
Pi Pi Romancer. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Pyromancer. Pun, puns are not my specialty. Well, uh, yeah, that was that was a good game. It was uh, it was a piece of pie to play, as easy as pie one might say. Um, <laughs> it was it was so much fun and and filled me up with so much joy that I'm not crusty at all that I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a? piece of pie I would love a piece of pie okay so thank you for joining us for uh, another episode of little big thumbs uh, thank you Milo for being here and teaching us how to play the game thank you to blue orange mm -hmm. games for sending us this review copy of piece of pie if you if you enjoyed the video give us a like if you want to follow along with with our journey as we figure out what else we want to do with the Little Big Thumbs YouTube channel? Hit that subscribe button, and uh, and thanks so much for for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.